Okay, well, it's been a while since I've actually seen a stable tune fork. <laughs> I guess it feels like that. So anyway, this is a tune fork that's on the Kronos blockchain, and not surprisingly, the oh, finally these things take forever to pop up. Uh, but with that being said, this I mean they should do they have a buy link here? Yeah, they do, which takes you to MM Finance, which is these guys, Mir. Maybe they call Meerkat Finance or something, right? MMF. So it's these guys. So a pretty legit project. Uh, well, very legit. They've got like over $58 million in TVL. And, you know, you got these guys. I just realized, do I have any Titano forks coming up? I think right now the answer is no because they're all delaying, they're all delaying their launches. So, you know, we're just stuck with these things for now, which is all right. So anyway, uh, I guess the first thing I want to look at, oh man, to be honest, I'm just, oh man, tokens? So this is over 12 months, and I'm trying to see if they mention staking and scrub. If they mention, oh man, you're going to make me figure out a smart APR system. I mean, they probably do use smart APR. I mean, they're doing 4% expansion. That's really excessive. Fax, 50-50, okay, I don't really care, community, launch pad, uh, I'll take, okay, that doesn't do anything, okay, they're going to make me figure it out on my own, but at least we know that the inflation rate is 42%, what the hell, 42%, this is their tiger shares, oh, wow, this is actually worth that much. That doesn't make sense. This thing has a market cap of 1.5 billion. How long have you guys been around? A few days. Wow, this is like the first tomb fork that I've seen where it doesn't like go crazy. Holy shit, this is a really good project. Yeah, 484 shares. I mean, at this point, I think I have to say that it is using the smart APR system. I mean, it kind of has to. Here are their farms. Ah. <sighs> Oh yeah, this is okay. Well, at least they kept everything very simple. So this is the Tiger Shares pool. So they're definitely using smart APR system because they're using 8.1 TBL lock. This has almost four and a half times the amount, and the daily APR is basically the same, almost. All right, it's, there's a one percent difference. So def this definitely uses the smart APR system, and almost like. 70, at least 75% of the shares, I don't feel like doing the math, but 75% of the shares have already been staked into the boardroom. You're stuck in here for two days. So apparently, Lionel Rogan Harsters did every three epochs. Okay, so you can only claim every 24 hours, because to them, one epoch is eight hours. Uh, the lockup timer gets reset. So you're so every time you claim, you have to wait in our 48 hours. Okay, so they're definitely very like anti-dumpy kind of thing. So that's pretty good for these guys, and it works out pretty well. Daily epoch. Okay, so the boardroom is printing a little under 14% a day. So I'm actually gonna write nine to 14% daily APR for this project. So. If you don't mind the incredible hassle of moving money over to Kronos, this actually makes a lot. This actually looks really solid. Uh, I assume they have their own auto compounder. I'm not really going to bother checking because obviously, if you're going to be on Kronos, you're going to be doing this shit manually. There's there's no way around it, right? And you're also going to be uh, you know opening up a dedicated tab to this. So if Kronos wasn't such a pain in the ass, I would actually put money into this project too. I mean, God, there's so many freaking projects to put money into. But with that being said, I don't know, really know why this is called Scrub Finance. I mean, I guess it has something to do with lions and tigers fighting each other, but I always never, I never thought there would be called a word Scrub. I thought Scrub just meant like you're a loser because that's how we use that word here, in, at least in America, I think. Uh, in mo like most of Europe too. But, I don't know, maybe it means something else in a different country or culture or something. I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> you know, the world does now revolve around America, after all. Not anymore. Which is technically a good thing. And, of course, that's why, you know, the West is going crazy. Because they're overreacting to the loss of power. 
So my only concern is, are they going to start launching, like, you know, World War Three and shit? Oh, and by the way, the TVL just went up to, to 59.2 million, so. So anyway, not much more for me to really uh, say or do. I mean, it's just, it's a tune fork. It's it's uh, It's been a couple days. I'm sure if it would have rug pulled, it would have, right? Because if this was a scam project, I would definitely just, just steal all of this, right? Oh, you can't see it. I mean, you can definitely tell, like, a, a dev would definitely just steal, like, $59 million plus. So, I mean, they might still be scamming, right? But, you know. But whatever the case is, they obviously know what they're doing. They're on, like, a really crazy, difficult blockchain. So I think that actually is another factor why this thing does so well. All right? Because I did, have noticed. Because the only one, I forgot the name of it. I already forgot the name of it already. And that's uh, working on the stupid basement or next door neighbor. I don't even know where that is. But it's just really loud. And whatever. Oh, there you go. $60 million. This thing went up to 800 k so this project, uh, along with the other Kronos project, I haven't checked up on that, but obviously this one's much better because it pays a much higher APR. And surprisingly, it has a very stable graph. I don't know of any other tomb fork that actually has a very stable graph because it usually goes straight up and then it goes straight down, but not this project. So I don't know. They definitely are doing something different here. Definitely doing something different. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I gotta exercise. I gotta go for my walk. I got a lot of stuff happening. Oh, man. I mean, but today is Monday, and I basically took Saturday and Sunday off. All I did was just basically play the Psycho Frontier. I'm, I'm like, getting really good at just camping players, because that's the only way to play effectively, and it's a stupid way to play. But because of the way the game servers work, players are constantly coming in and out. So all you have to do is find a high-traffic area, perch up somewhere is like safe and like very formidable and hard to see and, and then just ambush them because that's what always happens to me and it's like all right you know what i'm gonna do the same thing and of course there are cheaters everywhere too it's so frustrating so but you know whatever that's just that's just how it goes anyway check out scrub finance if you're willing to uh bridge money over to chronos because this is on chronos right you're gonna get access to some really good stuff like really really good especially now because right now tomb forks and aggregate are all going down this project is obviously going straight up so you know uh just be really careful about these shares all right there's a reason why only eight million only like 20 percent of all the money that's on this project is in the shares oh thank god they finally stopped that stupid buzzing i don't know if you could ever hear it but i definitely could hear it right because look this is, I, I forgot to mention this, this is $41,220, right? This thing just went up 500 bucks, but, like, the price drop risk on this is insane. Like, extremely insane. So you just got to be very careful about this. Very careful. I don't know if you can see my eyes squinting and closing, okay? All right. Uh, what, what, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. So this is over 12 months they've been out. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'd be very careful about the shares. Well, that being said, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm done for the day. These are all quick videos today. I just got a lot to do. This actually turned out to be 8 minute, 40 second video. I mean, there's just not much to say. Right now, crypto is just doing shit. And right now, the newest thing is there's these BNB miner type projects. So, you know, once this stuff finishes consolidating, I mean, I don't know. It's like there's just too much fear. Uh, in fact, I actually didn't check this. Let me see. 10-year uh, yield, 2.746. I think the markets are pricing at 50 basis points uh, rate hike because this is way beyond 25, which is happening in one month in May. Oh, Austrian Lear is going to meet Putin. Well, I mean, technically the video is over, but... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, try to let me put her after me with the link I set to cover the whole time of Putin since, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. So, you, I guess Austria wants, to, yeah. Well, Austria doesn't really have any moral ground because of their, you know, heinous lockdown and punitive measure bullshit that they're trying to pull off. I think it's still there. I don't know. Europe is a gigantic mess. I just can't wait for the West to decline in power because, you know, we live in a very evil fucking society. 
you know, and we cause all the mass murder in, like, you know, the American government, really. Like, with the Iraq War, the Afghanistan, well, Afghanistan was justified, but, at, like, after we took out Al-Qaeda, I mean, there was no, no point staying there, so, right, for, like, what, 21 years or whatever? I don't know, the American, uh, the American regime has to, like, go away, right, so... You know, whatever. And technically the European puppets, too, because Europe really is a puppet of America, right? A lot of Europeans may not think that or like to hear that, but it's true, right? Just just look at what Europe does and compare it to America. It's the exact same thing. What would you call that, right? So, you know. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, check out... Uh, I almost called this Meerkat Finance. If you check out Scrub Finance, their peg token actually just went up... A, just, Whatever, I don't know if it's just my end, but these numbers don't actually update correctly. All right, you have to go to the actual thing over here. All right, so, God, that thing is so annoying. Why couldn't you just wait 10 minutes? Oh, well, sorry about the noise, but I can't, I can't do anything about it. Which is why I can't wait to get the fuck out of this shit city. I fucking hate it here so much, and I'm going to be stuck here for at least another several months, I think. Technically, I could probably just buy my condo now, but I'll have to basically dan completely destroy my, you know, sphere, whatever, and that's not going to happen, all right? You know, I, I, this is this is the big boy play now, so I just gotta, I just gotta be patient, all right? And I can definitely be patient, okay? Because when I camp in the cycle frontier, you know what I actually do? I literally sit in the same spot hiding, you know, in whatever, a dark spot or a bunch of bushes, and I, you know... I literally wait 10, 20, even up to 30 minutes, right? <laughs> but it's worth it, all right? You know, I, I've been killing players in that game, finally. So now I'm going to slowly upgrade my gear, but I'm just afraid of losing all of it to, like, a fucking cheater. It's like, you know, but whatever. I'll see you all tomorrow. There's going to be two new minor projects. And according to Sim, he literally just said he fixed the problem. So hopefully I'll be able to bridge some effing money over. And I'm going to start mining some uh, new projects. I'll put those up tomorrow. I'm going to give it 24 hours. Because it literally just launched. So if it's a scam, I want to make sure I don't you know, tell you guys that. And uh, I, I just hope that they're fixing like the hot water or something. you know, Because this is very, very noisy. And yeah, like, I'm not going to tell you obviously where I live, but I can hear everything in the entire building because of the fucking pipe system. This is a really old building, but it's been renovated, right, o over like decades, several decades. I don't know, this building's got to be at least like 60, 70, 80 years old. So, you know, noise travels everywhere. Like, even if I lived on the top floor, right, I could probably still hear it from the basement because the noise travels up through all the fucking pipes. It's like... <sighs> Yeah, but hey, it's the middle of the day, so whatever. Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. Definitely, uh, if you're into Kronos, you'll definitely probably really like this project. Just stay away from the shares because the price drop risk is just way too much. This is just way too much. Even despite the fact that it looks very solid, which makes it really good. But, you know, we'll see. Thank you.